Good morning and welcome to the Wellness Whisperer. If you're like a lot of people, you probably cut out some bad things in your life and replaced them with good things. Many of my friends have cut out the gluten and the dairy, some of the sugar, but many of us haven't cut out the formaldehyde, lead, mercury, petroleum, and tar. No, we're not putting those in our bodies through food, but we're putting them on our face and our neck and our skin through beauty cosmetics and personal care products. Unfortunately, in the United States, only 11 chemicals have been banned from the ingredients of beauty products. On the flip side, in Europe, 2,400 ingredients have been banned. So we have to be our our own advocates of looking at these ingredients and deciding what not to put on our skin that might cause rashes, respiratory reactions, or even infertility. Today's guest will talk about that in depth with Brianna, beauty blogger at Blessed Holistic Life. Welcome to the Wellness Whisperer podcast. We are here doing our second segment. We had one on clean skincare. Today we're talking about clean cosmetics, and I am delighted and very privileged to have Brianna Salerno. Did I say that correct? Salerno, yes. Salerno. <laughs> And she is a clean beauty expert and has deep dived into the subject matter ever since she was 15. And you can find her on Instagram. Her handle is Blessed Holistic Life. So, Brianna, tell us briefly, I mean, you had your health issues and you made a pivot. You had some gut issues. You realized oh, yeah. that your skin wasn't healthy. Tell us what happened and, and about your pivot. Yeah, so... Way back then, when I was 15, I was obsessed with makeup. I just loved cosmetics. I loved all of that. Um, What I didn't know was all the hidden toxins in it. So about four plus years ago during the whole COVID thing, I was living in Las Vegas. I was playing poker and I lived a very unhealthy lifestyle. (laughs) And I'd always just honestly been pretty unhealthy my whole life, Um, up and down, I would say. Never, I'd be like, oh, I'm working out, I'm eating healthy, and then right back to whatever I was doing. So when the shutdown happened, everyone was kind of like, oh, like, we're going to start baking, like COVID-15, all this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to, like, learn about my health, like, once and for all. Like, I feel like crap. Let me figure out why. And... (laughs) It's crazy to say that my journey started with this, but I did a parasite cleanse and it changed my life. I had like 50, right? I had like 15 out of the 30 symptoms and I was just like, hold on. I did a cleanse and not the best one. I just grabbed whatever one Mm -hmm. in like two weeks. I was like, I saw something and I was like, that's it. I'm this, I'm done because all my symptoms, I was like, this isn't normal. Like I shouldn't be having this my whole life. And so did a deep dive on that, went down the rabbit hole. And then I learned about ingredients and our food and then went down the rabbit hole and learned about cosmetics and all the toxins in that. And I was like, okay, enough's enough. So I completely changed my lifestyle, which opened up less holistic life. And yeah, I've been learning about it ever since. It's It's been crazy. Well, I applaud you, number one. The pandemic was the worst thing we've ever went through probably as a society. And it was a big downer mentally, mental health wise and um, just everything. And you used it as a catalyst to transform your life. So what, what a wonderful way to use that excess time we had to, for the good. And now you're using that to teach other people how to be healthier too. So I applaud you for that. Thank you so much. So we're going to talk about, um, now we know that you had your tummy issues. You did a parasite cleanse. You cleaned up your entire beauty regimen. And yeah, it's it's a very uh, dirty field. I mean, cosmetics and beauty is what, like a $20 billion industry. And they're the largest purchasers of petrochemicals that go into the beauty products. And I learned all this too, because I went to the ER in 2016, went into anaphylactic shock over a cream that I put on my neck that had phenyl ethanol in it, the, the preservative that has respiratory, uh, uh, it's cited for respiratory danger. Mm. And it was very scary. So I started yeah. cleaning my makeup regimen too, but it's such a process. There's just so much out there to research. 
It is. It can be super overwhelming, especially if you're new to it and you're like, where do I even start? And for someone like me, don't do what I did. <laughs> I did like a whole overnight switch and I'm like a very all or nothing person. And I really went down the rabbit hole. So I would recommend starting with the product that like you're running out of. So if you're running out of your hairspray, that's the next product you find a non-toxic replacement for. But I'm so sorry to hear that you had that kind of scare. Yeah, it's it was a wake up call. Um, and at the time I was single living at home and I didn't even have time to call an ambulance or a taxi because I'm like, I can't breathe. I have yeah. to get to the hospital now. So yeah, um, this is an important topic that we shouldn't take for granted. It was funny, my husband was saying, oh, you're getting so over the top with this holistic health stuff. My mother never looked at her cosmetic, what was inside, and she lived in 97. Well, that's that's not an indicator that the body was well. She also had some cancers and some issues. And I know that breast cancer is something that can derive from all the hormonal disruptions happening if you're using the wrong chemicals that are in the makeups and products. So it's, it's an important topic. Um, so tell us your favorite products that you use perhaps on a daily, your, your go-tos for your eyes, your foundation, your lips, um, just go through the whole face. <laughs> yeah, totally. I will say like, even back then with, um, our parents' generation, like things were way less toxic back then. Like we had a whole different lifestyle as people. We didn't have social media. We went out, we ate real whole foods, our cosmetics and some things weren't as bad as they are now. Like Today, it's like they just keep on adding more and you look around and you're like, well, yeah, of course, everyone's sick. Like, look at what we're eating. Look at what we're putting on our body. Look at what we're ingesting. It's just, it it's crazy. So, and yeah, and still, you still get these little like cancers or hormonal problems. There's always something nowadays when back then it really wasn't like that. That's a good point, Brianna, because I remember looking, walking into my grandma's kitchen and she didn't have Fritos and Doritos mm. and cheese dip in a bottle. It was yes. what was coming straight in from, you know, bringing a chicken, chop its head off, put it in the oh, pan. Yeah. It was a different world. And it we is. were working in fresh air. We weren't on social media. We were out chasing the, the cats and the dogs and playing. Just, mm -hmm. it's not the we were being present and we were being stress-free. It wasn't constant overstimulation. I would go back any time of the day. Me too. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I'm like, I remember when holidays felt like holidays and everything wasn't so curated and we were just like present and loving. Like now every day everyone's on their phone and I'm just like, like I love it and I hate it. So it's like, it's, it's so tough. Um, when it comes to clean beauty, for me, what I realized when I was looking at clean cosmetics and doing ingredients and finding influencers, I was like, hmm, there's not a lot of people that look like me and that have my skin type or like love a full glam, like everyday look, like putting on makeup to go play volleyball, guilty, <laughs> but you know, so when I kind of created Blessed Holistic Life, I was like, let me just do all this research. Let me review all these products and then help others find that because in our kind of non-toxic community, a lot of people are like, this is non-toxic, this is non-toxic. And then all of a sudden you buy 20 products and you're like, okay, maybe one works for me. And I don't know, like your skin tone's different or your skin type's different. So it's a lot of like trial and error. And I feel like I'm very grateful that <laughs> I tested a lot. So feel grateful to <laughs> have done all the work before. <laughs> Yes. But yeah, I'd love to go over some of my favorite products. Yes, Which please. one do you want to start with? Uh, what would you, you, you go, you knock through it because you're, you're the expert and, and you do look great and it's wonderful to look at you and know that you haven't, you know, uh, jeopardized your health by, you know, looking beautiful and amping up your beauty. So yeah, just, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Oh my God. Thank you so much. It's so sweet. It's like, yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's a big stigma around non-toxic beauty too. Like a lot of people are like, oh, non-toxic natural or whatever. It's just not as good. Where nowadays back then, yes, maybe, but now we're shifting and our stuff is high quality and just as better as the conventional stuff. So 
Yeah. It's been super exciting to find things that like actually work and that you can do full glam, a cat eye, bold mm -hmm. mascara, bold lips. So really fun stuff. So I think I will start with my favorite mascara and I'm going to reach into my little <laughs> bag and it's all dirty, of course, which is super fun. <laughs> but my favorite clean beauty mascara that is non-toxic is the Ilia Beauty. I love this one because of the brush. So I don't know if you can see it, mm -hmm. but the brush, it has a sort of like, they're a little spaced more apart and then the top one is spaced together and it is a little pricey. It's $28, but I would buy this till they run out of it. It just gives your lashes such length and volume and I'm just obsessed. So this is my go-to number one mascara that I recommend, hands down. The brush looks like a caterpillar. It looks like the little- Oh my leaf. gosh, it does! <laughs> yes, no, all natural caterpillar brush. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh, I love that. An all natural caterpillar brush. That That's great. Wonderful. It's so good. And then they also have another one, um, a more vo uh, volumizing one. And the brush is a little chunkier. Yeah, I love a really good- I'll be honest, I just love a lot of volume when it comes to my mascara, so I'm just, I cake it on. I love it. So Ilia Beauty, my two recommendations for mascara. Another one um, that I fell in love with too, which is a more affordable option, is Exa Beauty. And the brush kind of looks like this. So still big, a little clumpy, but not clumpy, but it does add volume and length at the same time. And how much would the, that brand be per tube? Approximately. Hmm. Approximately, I'm blanking. I want to say I just added it to my website on my shop. So okay. I'm totally blanking on it. But I want to say anywhere from, I want to say it's like maybe 24. Don't quote me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> Thing about picking the the correct um, mascara is you don't want it to have tar petroleum in it, which I learned from Aveda when I had a makeover there that you know CoverGirl and all the the name brands that you get at any walk-in pharmacy are pretty much petroleum-based products. Nice. It's it's insane, and it's like you're putting that directly like right Next by your is. eye. In God forbid you like slip up, it's going in there. I've seen videos, and I've done it myself when I put on eyeliner back then like my toxic l'oreal eyeliner and it's going right in my eye it stains my whole eye and i'm just like i'm putting toxins literally in my bloodstream like that's craziness that's craziness to me right and it's immediate yeah immediate it's now, while we're mm. talking about eyelashes and you have beautiful eyelashes, I have I used to have beautiful eyelashes and as you age, they shrink. So now I'm using castor oil trying to, you know, pump those babies up. Yeah. I know a lot of women these days are, my sister-in-law went and got the artificial eyelashes glued on and every month mm. she has to go back and have them um, updated, um, replenished, but that's glue and that's probably formaldehyde. Do you have a stance on artificial uh, lashes? I know it's so, your anyone's personal choice. It is. And I, I do feel like in this non-toxic clean beauty wellness space, we do need a little bit of balance. I still get my roots done. <laughs> I'm look, I will say I am looking for a non-toxic option, but I think if you go in stages, there is a there is a, I haven't tried it, but there is a clean, non-formaldehyde, I think, eyelash glue. It's called True Beauty Glue, True Beauty Lashes. And Good. I want to say they have a glue and lashes. But Wonderful. I think when it comes to, yeah, I think when it comes to that, it's what are you putting on your body every day? Like, is it small doses or are all your products fragrance, phenoxyethanol, like, tar like petroleum so i think maybe once in a while you can do a couple of that of like lashes for your big reunion or your wedding or your special yeah. not a big deal for me lipsticks are a big i live for lipstick so i have oh to my gosh all those out because of the lead and and well that. you're eating it essentially like if i'm gonna grab my coffee i'm eating oh. my oh, eating God. my lip liner i hope it's non-toxic right all yeah. right, so that covers the mascara. Do you want to talk about <laughs> shadows and your favorite oh. brand of shadows? 
Yes. So I'm currently using, um, it's called Well People. I am, I'm not phasing them out of what I recommend, but I will say that this is probably the only palette that I do recommend. Um, and it is affordable. You can get it at Target. This is their old packaging and I have gone through so many. Uh, but another brand that I really love, and I think, actually, I know you would love this brand. So I work with her. Her name is Lauren Brooke. She's in Utah. She's 100% organic makeup and skincare. So literally everything you could eat, you just don't want to. <laughs> but she makes these amazing eyeshadows. And so I have some pressed ones coming. I do have some of her cream shadows. She does everything. So her lipstick and lip liners, you would love. And I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm talking about it. But she is fabulous. And I think super affordable. Especially with the quality of her products, you just, you can't get any better. And she makes it all, it's all non-toxic, all organic. You can't find that nowadays for things that actually work. Right. So this right. is one of her cream eyeshadows. This is the cream eyeshadow Serafina. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? beautiful. Mm -hmm. And right. look how pigmented that is. Love that. Gotta get right? some. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't buy anything until after this interview because I knew I'd <laughs> list i'm like okay i'm gonna pick that up and pick that up oh i got you girl i got it all in my <laughs> shop with the discount code so you don't worry <laughs> but for real like she makes gorgeous colors without the lake dyes so there's no heavy metals mm, i love that yeah so i'm obsessed with her um eye products as well her pressed eyeshadows are great i like the shades tahiti there's a taupe and then teak so i like very like neutral kind mm -hmm. of browns yeah right right Bobby yeah. Brown. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then um, a different brand that I've been falling in love with is it's called Beauty Care Naturals. She is actually a naturopath who created this, um, her makeup brand. And she was like, I want to make clean beauty affordable and clean and transparent. And I don't want it to cost an arm and a leg. And her stuff works. She is like her whole page, her aesthetic, she's just amazing. I could talk about her all day. Um, but so for her, this is her eyeliner. And in our clean beauty world, it is so hard to find a felt tip non-toxic eyeliner without phenoxy ethanol. Look at that. Oh my. Very so tiny. pigmented. Oh, wonderful. Without the tar, <laughs> without the petroleum. <laughs> And she just makes the best products. And I'm such like a cat eye kind of person. I always need my eyeliner. And when I found her, I was like, it's done. Like I, I cannot go a day without this. And she sells out in seconds. I have to buy like two or three now oh my. because everyone's so obsessed. That's an endorsement <laughs> that it's good stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good. I've, I've put so many of my followers on. Because we've all been looking for it. And I'm like, I just found the holy grail in the clean beauty community. No one does a felt tip liner. That's actually good and stays on all day. So super excited about that. I'm like, that's probably my number one like thing I've been looking for for years since I started this account. Go ahead and mention your shopping cart or where people would find your list of, if you didn't just say it, I'll put it in my show notes after this, but go ahead and just spit it out now. Oh. In case jumps off. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So I created a link dolly. So in my bio, it's my shop of my personal faves and recommendations. So if you're, I wanted to keep it very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sorry, of ADHD. So that's always fun. <laughs> um, I wanted to keep it a small, it's like a clean catalog with not too many recommendations. So, very curated, very, yeah, streamlined. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Something that I've personally tried or I'm a fan of the brand. I've heard amazing things. It's going in my shop. If I haven't tried it and it's non-toxic, that's amazing. But I want to know what's in my shop. And a lot of people just add all this non-toxic stuff like, yeah, buy this, check that. And I'm like, I don't want to recommend anything if I haven't tried it. So exactly. yeah, I don't know if it's good. So um, it's definitely that you can get in my link in bio. I'll send you the little link. It's Link Dolly Blessed Holistic Life, and you can go through it. So it has clean candles, it has clean makeup, household products. Um, there's even like my favorite clean protein bars. 
It's contagious. So I already have it, but I'll definitely be sharing it with our listeners. I love it. I love that it's too much. Thank you. Cover the realm of being a woman on these eight pages. So yeah, thank, thank you. you so much for that. It's I feel like it's when you come to this non toxic clean beauty lifestyle, it can be so like overwhelming, and you're just like what do I start with? What do I buy? Like someone saying this mascara, someone saying that mascara. And it's like, I don't know. So I try to keep the options limited to things that I personally love and just kind of make it this clean catalog and beginner's guide for someone for essentially myself. When I started, I needed that and I didn't have that. So I was like, Oh, yeah. And what drew me to, to you as a person, I just clicked with you. I felt like I knew you already just looking at your Instagram feed, but I like that you had the variety that you weren't just uh, advocating for one product line. There was a lot of people that are beauty bloggers out there and all they talk about is beauty counter. I mean, it's one item or Laurel and it's not diversified and you know yeah. that there's better stuff. So I like that you've really taken the time to vet you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of product lines to find what are your favorites. And Thank put you it on so much. So Thank you so much for that. Um, I, I agree. Like you, you get on social media in this like influencer life and like, everyone's like, Oh, I love crunchy. I love beauty counter. I love this. And not everyone has the same skin. Not everyone like what works for you may not work for me. And I never want to be just like a part of something and honestly kind of manipulate people. I feel like that's been a big thing in our industry lately is just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. You need this or fear tactics and all this stuff. And it's like, no, like there's a many, like there's so many amazing products and so many amazing small businesses and companies, but one size doesn't fit all. And sometimes you have to cherry pick. Like yes. I love certain brands, but not all their products are clean, but there's a couple that are that meet our standards and that's going on the website and I've tried it and it's fabulous. I never want to promote something I don't personally love and use. And I've made that very, like I've said that on my page. Like I just, I won't, I've turned yeah. down a lot. You, you, you're very clear on your webpage that you're absolutely transparent and you're doing this for the good of the world and you have a, a Christian belief and it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's very rare to find someone with all those attributes at once, but I have a question. I'd love that you have a shopping list that people can go to your Instagram page and print it off just like I did and kind of go through and try things and check pricing. But what's confusing to me is if you clean up your diet. You can go to Sprouts, Whole Foods, uh, Whole Grocers, and you know that all those products in those stores are wholesome and vetted. That's really not possible in the beauty world. You can't necessarily walk into an Ulta or a Sephora or a Dillard's or anywhere and know that you're buying safe, pro safe makeup products. Is that correct? It's, I feel like it's so hard because even in Whole Foods, Sephora, Ulta 2, they'll put like, oh, this is so clean. Here's a label. And then you turn it around and you're like, okay, well, there's undisclosed fragrance in here, phenoxyethanol. What else are you hiding with just like this label? And I really feel like stores have really upped their marketing game by saying like, this is green, this is clean, this is non-toxic. And for people who don't know, they're like, oh my gosh, yes, let me grab it. And then people like us, we turn around and we're like, oh, nope, like mm -mm. it's not cutting it. So yeah, I remember back in 2016 when I first started really going and looking at things and I'd have to bring a magnifying glass into the store because the type on the back is yes. like four point, five point, what we call in the marketing world, mice type. And you couldn't read it. They don't want you to read it. Mm -mm. And now they have apps um, like the Skin Deep and the Yucca and, and uh, all the different apps. <laughs> I, 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 this man was looking at me at Target the other day because I was scanning everything. And I was going beep, beep, beep. And then I was taking notes on my purse. I, th I think he thought I was a spy from Russia. <laughs> but I really just wanted to know it was clean. And I, I left with nothing. Everything failed the test. Oh pretty sad. I'm like, okay, I can't, I'll just wait to talk to Brianna and get this figured out tomorrow. <laughs> right. I have an app recommendation for you that I think is so amazing. So she was a huge person that helped me on my clean beauty journey. Uh, 
her name is Andrea. She's Switch Natural. So she has an app called Switch Natural Approved. Um, I'll send you her link. I, I'm one of her affiliates, so I will say, I will be transparent of that. But I stand behind this app like no other. I do the same thing you do. I constantly pull out my phone, I scan it, I upload it, I screenshot, and it'll flag it. And then it tells you why. And that's what I love. Because it'll flag phenoxyethanol, add mm -hmm. all the data and all that. And you're like, oh, okay, perfect. Now I know why. And so it's been a game changer. I went to um, Cosmoprof a couple years back and last year. <laughs> I felt terrible, but I was, I took that app and I'm scanning everything and people would be like, Oh, have this. And before I'd say yes, I'd scan it. And then I'd be like, I'm okay. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> like I can't. And for someone like me with my brain, I will say like, I'm very ADD, ADHD. And I just, sometimes I will truly forget and like, I'll mix up my words and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I scan it and I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. Like I'm good. And so it's been so, so, so helpful and, and so easy. And it's nice to have that because no, you don't want to be fooled by the marketing or the packaging or the sales rep or the, you know, the distributor that's really yeah. going to get a commission. You want to know for sure. So that's, yeah. I'll look forward to that, to try that one out too. I, I do want to say too, I, doing research for this segment, um, I was wondering if there was the good housekeeping seal for makeup and the closest thing to the good housekeeping seal is the made safe seal, which means mm. that the product, the cosmetic has went through a certification process to ensure that the ingredients inside will not harm you. So if you're like Brianna and myself and on this, the wellness holistic journey, look for the made safe seal and it's mm. pretty safe. So not a lot of companies are going to have it yet, but, um, it's, I'm glad that someone's looking out for us. Right. <laughs> I feel like we've really come a long way in the past five years. I feel like there are so many stories and so many whys of why people are switching over and they're just getting fed up. They're like, enough's enough. And I mean, look at Europe, they ban everything and anything. And the U S is like, mm, that's fine. We're okay. Like. It's not going to hurt you, but look around the U.S. and you're like, everything's literally killing us. So, no. it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's I, crazy. When I started this channel, The Wellness Whisperer, I'm like, I'll have an endless number of people to talk to because there's just so many topics that we need to turn around to, um, to feel better and to get better and to live quality lives, not just long lives, but actually feel good. So, I'm sorry. I've, I've interrupted. So, we talked oh about- Oh, gosh. No. Um, I could talk about this all day. <laughs> Put a foundation because I need some new foundation. I've yeah. been using Laura uh, Geller's uh, mineral powder. I, don't, I think it has some bad stuff in it. So. Okay. Well, that's funny that you said that. So I'm actually wearing a mineral powder right now. Mm -hmm. So it's called the Good Mineral. I met her online a long time ago. And it's kind of like a bare minerals, but it's all mineral and it's acne safe. So. Oh. Yeah, so whenever I have a huge breakout like I do right now, my skin is not cooperating. I put this on and I feel good knowing that like my skin's not so heavy and just trapped and like all gross, but it still gives me the coverage. So she has a foundation, she has bronzers, highlighters, blushes, all clean, all non-toxic, all acne safe and mineral. And it's super pigmented. And then on top of that, she has the best brushes in the world. Like, look how pretty and cute those are. So fluffy and ready to, and clean. I and just, so <laughs> clean. <laughs> yeah. oh no, I have to wash my brushes. They're gross. <laughs> they're so bad, but they're just so soft and like, and it just all goes together. So it's like, you just throw it on and you just take the mineral foundation. You take the flat top brush dip it in, tap, 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 mm -hmm. and you're good to go. And it stays on all day. I mean, I literally can play volleyball in it, work up a sweat, be all nasty. And I'm like, oh, I'm super glowy. I'm so good. So <laughs> they have to hate you. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, why do you wear makeup? I'm like, why do you not wear makeup while you play? No, I just, I love it. I love full glam. I love makeup. <laughs> 
Um, That's good to know. <laughs> other foundations that I love. So Clover by Clove Skin is in Serum Foundation. This is another acne safe um, foundation. This one's super affordable. I want to say this one is $18. It love is, it. is yeah, good. right? It's buildable. Um, it gives great coverage. I do like probably one dot. You can blend it in. You can pack it in. You can go over it. It's just very, I do, I don't have my organic fake tan on, so we're a little pale. <laughs> so, you know, but it just blends really nice. It's like a second skin. Yeah. So the skin is in, she's really good at that. And the owner is fantastic as well. And then my other recommendation is the Ilia Super Skin Tint. Have you tried this one? I haven't. Okay, so this one is, it's an SPF 40. It's more of like, I wouldn't call it like super foundation. I'd say it's like light to medium, but I feel like you can build it and I do feel like it covers well. Only thing is it is $48, but it is worth it in my opinion. It's very glowy, so I would note that. Mm -hmm. But so, it is nice. Yeah. yeah. It looks wonderful. Probably yeah. a little long ways. I yeah. need to this more. I'm not into the building anymore. I'm like, just, just get an even tone going and hit the street. Yeah, you're like, I'm good. Yeah. So probably, yeah, this would be probably, well, all of them are pretty good. You can, and that's what I like about this one too, because you can just add or you can just one dot all mm -hmm. over. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. All those, the one that has the sunscreen in it is the clove. Do, do so, all of them? No. So the Ilia is a $48 mm -hmm. one. This is on the website too. And it's the SPF 40. So yeah. it does have sunscreen in it. I think you would like this one. It's a like very dewy, glowy one. The Clover does not have sunscreen in it. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Um, setting powder. I've tried a lot of setting powder, and I was a huge fan. I don't know if you're familiar with Vapor Beauty. Uh -uh. They were an amazing clean beauty company. Everything was clean. Unfortunately, they closed down, and it was so heartbreaking. They had it was it was crushing to the beauty world. There were so many good brands that just closed down. I was just like, oh. They um, had an amazing foundation, an amazing setting powder, amazing loose powder. So we love you and we miss you, Vapor Beauty. It was just so sad. It's, so it's a competitive industry. I mean, there's so many choices. So I can understand someone not making it. it yeah. And as small businesses, you don't have that budget like these big companies that are owned by Johnson & Johnson and this and that. And it's like they have all that marketing money. They can lose whatever they want and they don't care. Yeah, I and just watched, uh, yeah. I've been a marketer and I watched um, a program today on Google, how Aveda during the pandemic launched this huge top of funnel advertising campaign on YouTube and how they just like doubled their sales, but not everyone has the money to do that. Right. I mean, that mm -hmm. had to cost a half a million dollars to put that program together. So yeah, I, I feel sorry for your, your company that went really up. It is. It's so, it's just. It's a reminder to definitely shop small and to support these businesses so cool. okay. that stay true to their clean, non-toxic ingredients and that don't get bought out and that don't change their stuff. There's so many companies now that they were clean and non-toxic and then they sold out mm -hmm. and then these little switches are coming and it's, and it's hard because you've used it forever and then you turn it around again and you're like, wait, when did they add that? And so, yeah. All right. Can we talk lips? Yes, let's do it. Let's talk lips. So lipstick, since you're a lipstick girly, I am, believe it or not, a, I'm a lip liner girly. So mm -hmm. I wear lip liner as a lipstick because I feel like it stays on longer. It's something I've always done and I love it. But lipstick wise, definitely Lauren Brooke, 100% organic. You could eat it. <laughs> You'd be fine. And her colors are incredible. Her lip liners are absolutely gorgeous and affordable her lip glazes oh her lip glazes they're like this pigmented it's almost like a a mix between a gloss and a very that's why they call it glaze <laughs> it's like a very pigmented gloss and they're gorgeous and so i just over my lip liner i just add a little bit adds a little color Love adds it. a little pop. 
I love that it has color because I did buy some lip tint from Honest and it just didn't have any color. I mean, I put it on. I'm like, I look, yeah, I can't see it. I want to see it. Exactly. And I think you should be able to see it, <laughs> especially if you're spending the money. You should be happy with your purchase and see it. Yeah. And she does do samples, which is nice, too. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, she's fabulous. Um, And then lipsticks, I would definitely say 100% pure. She has fabulous colors. They're very, very, very pigmented. So mm -hmm. I would, like, if you love your lipsticks and you love a full-on lipstick, 100% pure. Yeah. They have some sort Sometimes they have some restocking issues, but you got to get it when they have it because they have such a good turnout. Like they're reds, very pigmented, and they use fruit pigments. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Right. Um, I wanted to get your opinions as we kind of went through the makeup and people can go and get your, 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 your uh, curated list off of your site. You turned me on to that documentary that HBO Max did, um, Not So Pretty, the four series documentary. It's on your website. You talk about it. I have not seen it, but I went to watch the trailer on YouTube. What, did you get a lot out of that series? Because they covered what's, what's not transparent with makeup, shampoos, nails, and I forget the fourth bucket. Yeah, that was, I, I won't lie to you, that was a very long time ago, and I have very severe memory loss. <laughs> I am like, I think, I don't, yeah, it was like a big thing in our world that like, it was finally like someone's talking about it. Someone's doing the research and a little overwhelming. Cause it was, it was like nails, beauty, this, that. And you're just like, okay, wait, everything I've been using is completely toxic. So definitely if you have the chance to see it, see it, but also remember to not stress. That is really big. Like for me, like I've in the past couple years, I want to say I have been really focusing on this is so off topic. I apologize. Oh, please. <laughs> um, I just have been really focusing on balance and joy with education. I feel like our clean beauty wellness space has taken a really big turn for honestly a lot of stress. And you get online and everything's toxic nowadays and you can't use this and you got to use that and you got to do this. And I really feel like more people need to talk about slowly transitioning and please do the opposite of what I did. I'm all or nothing overnight person. So it's like, I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, no. But in the past couple of years, I've seen the toll it's taken on me, my followers. And I've been really talking to a lot of people and it's like, Education is amazing, but you also need to look at, and I'm not saying this about the documentary, I'm just getting off topic, but also follow people that you can trust and follow people that aren't trying to like sell you every little bit of like everything like, oh my gosh, this is toxic. This is killing you, but Hey, buy this, use this. And they're like solely a brand ambassador for that. So, and I think we've touched base on that, but I would definitely with watching documentaries like that, make sure you're in a right place. And if you feel like you are self-researching and learning slowly by yourself and slowly just taking your toxic burden down, do it like that. Sometimes documentaries like that can be stressful. I know myself, like I am a huge researcher rabbit hole and I'll get in there and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then I'm like paranoid. So I'm like, I'm so glad that you said that. And that's, that's another light that you bring to the space that I was attracted to that you're just so honest. And that the fact that you're seeking joy in education and kind of pushing back on all the negativity, because we don't need that either. We're doing, we're trying to be healthy and, and, and live a long, wonderful, joyous life. But I will say about the documentary, I went and watched um, another beauty person's um, take on it. And she mm -hmm. has a channel called Lab Muffin Beauty Science. She's a scientist. Oh, cute. And she's the one that's in the labs making the products for the companies. And she said, yes, documentaries can be very fear-based. They're movie makers. They have to have that climax and that, that drama in order to sell the production. So yeah get the education out of it, but remember to go look at your own research. Um, and you're right. It's, there's always going to be someone trying to sell you something, 
look for the person who's trying to part with partner with you and make your life better. Um, and they're, they're out there too, so which yeah. is why you have such a huge following. I mean, people see that in you and, and yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's okay. really, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just think, I think I, as an influencer and stuff too, it's like, it's hard to, it's hard because it's like fear sells. And a lot of people don't tell you that. And so these big influencers who are constantly pushing this fear and this fear and fear, there are people with different brain types and different nervous systems and different life and lifestyles. And it can be so overwhelming and consuming and detrimental. And if you have OCD and you're watching this video, it can be like insane. And it, and I know myself and I'm like, I watch one video and all of a sudden I'm freaking out and I'm like, Brianna, like chill out. And so I've tried to be as transparent about that as possible because it's like, no one is perfect. No one can live in a hundred percent non-toxic life. Like just because I don't wear conventional non-perfume doesn't mean the person next to me isn't. I'm still inhaling their perfume and I'm like, oh, and I have a headache, but I think it needs to be talked about more. Like there are cleaner options for everyone and just making these small changes and these small steps, you're reducing your toxin load and that's better than nothing. We live in a world that is so toxic today and you have to do what's best for you. Right. Especially um, because the more you absorb that, I know with me, I've had leaky gut and then you become even more sensitive to what you're putting on your body and you get hives and you get rashes and Mm -hmm. it's a signal to clean it up, sister. You need to yeah, your 30 day cleanse and and really just back off the stuff. But you're right. We live in a very toxic, toxic world and we just have to be aware of that and um, make some better choices. So I'm glad we had this discussion. I'm glad that my cat parked over here to be the perfect little backdrop. She's such a she's such a diva. That's popcorn back there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that name. Popcorn is one of my favorite foods in the world. So I'm like, I love that. <laughs> oh my right, God. Right of the screen. Is there anything else that we didn't talk about? I know I'll put everything that I can in the show notes and uh, links to you and your Instagram and Twitter and uh, TikTok pages and whatnot. And some of these reports that I've held up randomly so people yeah. can go and read them themselves. Anything else you want to end with, Brianna? Um, I'll end with some lip liners oh. just because I am a lip liner girly. Um, and yeah, so Fit Glow Beauty is an amazing company. Um, They also have these amazing lip serums and great pigment, no lip dyes, fabulous stuff. This is in their shade Nude. It's more pinky, in my opinion. Um, Another great brand. And I will say the international brands are fabulous. So many brands over there have the strictest guidelines from the EU and they just don't have anything. So I'd always say, Sometimes it's worth it to pay the extra shipping because they're just that good. I hadn't thought about that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, Air Perez. So this is their almond brow pencil. And I use it as a contour for my lip liner. So it's this kind of cool tone brown. And I just contour my lips and pretend I have huge lips. And then I go in with a lip liner all over. Yeah. And they have really good... um, great lip liners. They also have these lip crayons, super pigmented, non-toxic, fabulous. Um, Two other international brands that I absolutely love. One Seed, they are a clean perfume, super luxury. She's an in-house perfume maker. So everything's in-house, no synthetics ever, almost all natural and organic. And she is fabulous. I've worked with her for a long time. Liz is an incredible woman. She is just an amazing business owner and I just absolutely love her. And she does body washes, laundry, clean perfume, and she's just absolutely fabulous. Then we have MG Naturals. She's over in Australia as well. And she does titanium free dioxide makeup. So sometimes titanium dioxide can get a bad um, rep. It's more of you want to avoid it in powders where you can inhale it. So, or like some sprays, but other than that, like it's, you're pretty much fine. Um, but she's completely TD free 
and she has great eyeshadows, great pigments. She has foundation. She has lip glosses. She's everything. So wonderful. So health wise, you're in a good space now. You're you've got your issues. Your parasites are gone. You you know that you're using good products and you seem perky and healthy. So a good you. you. Health is health is well. Um, I will say I'm still doing a couple cleanses. Um, it's like. It's so funny because I think for me, I was so ridden with parasites. I've gone through leaky gut. I might have leaky gut now. I'm not really sure. Like, yes. <laughs> and stress is a huge, mm -hmm. oh, it's so bad. And so I feel like I've done this now for four years and I'll like get on a cleanse. I'll have amazing results. Candida's gone. Parasites are gone. And then before you know it, I have another layer coming up and I'm like, Oh my gosh. But I think for someone like me, I'm so susceptible to like bacteria and stuff. Like I just know I'm compromised in that department. So I have to like work a little harder. But other than that, my skin has never looked better. I mean, I look, I look back at pictures from 10 years ago when I was wearing toxic makeup, like dousing myself in Versace, bright crystal, all this toxic perfume, just layering on everything, eating gluten, eating whatever I wanted. And I look younger now than I did back then. Oh, I bet. My skin, yeah, my skin and my body is way better and my health is better. And so that's why I continue every day to show up because I know what it's like to feel like crap. And I just, I can't, I don't want to live like that anymore. I lived like that for too long. Like, I, I like this now. I like feeling healthy. I like feeling like I'm in control of my health and my body. So, yeah. And I'll just say to anyone listening, if you're having any, any sort of mystery symptoms or illnesses, find a good integrative medicine, functional medicine person that can really help you find out what's going on and not just give you a pill or a potion and push you out the door. They can do some testing because they are out there. And I'd be happy to give a recommendation because I've worked with many all across the U.S. They're out there. Don't stay uh, ill or feeling poorly. It's just not worth it. You can you can get back to yourself. Yes, I love that you said that. Um, and if I may, I, I just had a recent um, kind of uh, I, I hadn't been to the doctors in forever. I'm not like a doctor's person, but I was like, you know what? Let me, I'm on insurance now. Let me go. And I went to the gyno and I was like, Hey, like I'm having some hormonal problems. I think like, can we test my stuff? And she was like, no. Um, only thing I'd say is like, get on hormonal birth control or like immediately. Like she didn't ask me. I know. I'm like, she didn't ask me like, what are you eating? How are you, are you drinking water? Are you doing sleep? Nothing. Thanks. She was just like, your age, like, you're fine. And I was just like, yeah. so offended because I was like, wow, I really haven't been in this, like, for a while. And so to have someone literally look in my face and be like, yeah, only thing you can do about that is, like, cosmetic or, like, you can only do this and get on birth control. I was like, and so I was adamant. And I was like, get me my testing done. Mm -hmm. And it came back normal. But I know myself. And I'm like, hmm. I still don't believe you. And so I'm still on that journey to find someone who actually takes me seriously. And I, amen. And they're out there. But I tell you what, I, I've had the hormonal roller coaster myself. And recently, my my RN, who is a functional medicine RN, was not going to be available to adjust my meds. And I was freaking out. So I was calling all these different hormonal places and the same thing. I'm like, do you do testing? Can you read the Dutch plus test? Can you prescribe? Mm -hmm. And it was like, no, no, no. Can you get me in six months later? Luckily, uh, my RN, who is a functional medicine person, just did a telemed visit with me and fixed everything. But it's very rare mm -hmm. to find someone that will really listen to you, give you that 90 minute consult, run the needed test to find out, is it adrenals? Is it candida? Is it your mm -hmm. hormones? Is it your cortisol? Is it your thyroid? Um, yeah. And, yeah. So keep searching. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's like, don't give up. Like you are your own advocate. Like you have to live in your body and these doctors who are telling you, oh, I can't do that. It's like, no, you're saying that because your insurance says that. Guess what? Switch doctors. I had a doctor look me in the face and say, yeah, I don't think so. I go boop. And I just uh -huh. got rid of her. I'm like, no, I will go for a million doctors before someone tells me what I have to go, that what I'm going through every day is not, oh, I'm fine. No. Yeah. One resource that I will do a shout out 
the yes. integrative, it's ifm.org, ifm.org. It's the Integrated Functional Medicine Association. And they have a list of providers that have been trained to do the right tests. So at least start there because you can find and search by your state who can help you. And that's a good oh, start. Yeah, that's amazing. I didn't know about that. That's so amazing. Yeah. So busy lady, I can't, I, I suspect the next time I look at your um, Instagram feed, you're going to be like the, the face of a new makeup line for safe makeup. Someone's going <laughs> to hire you and say, I hope that happens for you because I think you rock. So you thank are you. such a blessing. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. Don't go away. I'm going to thank you for listening. Please uh, join us again next week. Whoa.